water. That's why you want to call it. Now over here, it just wants to burn a regular flame, nothing, nothing fancy. And here, just simple, actually, soap bubbles. So you get a, you get a good, good um, bunch of bubbles. Just get a little fire. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. My name is Jack. We're not having you in this. Look at Jack. We gotta get a video of Jazz. Like. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I'll give you. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. Wow. Thank you. 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 Thank so, yeah. Yes, my hand is wet. That's why it doesn't hurt. Right. And, it's, and doing it, doing it dry. And I've done it. I won't say I've done it dry, but I've done it where I haven't had enough water on there, and it doesn't hurt. It'll singe the hair in your arms a little bit. Well, I mean, when it starts to hurt, I just flick my hand, and it puts a fire out. So I don't like say, "Oh, it hurts." Let's see what. Look at that.
How do you make bubbles? Well, you want more pressure on it. Like yes. How do you make bubbles? You, you know, I mean, if I, if I don't have one. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Because if it converted all the oxygen to carbon dioxide, then we would do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. We'd suffocate the person because we're not giving them any oxygen. So our lungs are not 100% efficient, so we do breathe out oxygen. Same thing when you have a, a fire in your fireplace, sometimes you'll blow in it. Reason, because you do blow out some oxygen. We take in 21% and you know we may use 5, 6, 7, 8% of that or whatever, and then we'll, we'll breathe out oxygen. So in Jordan's breath, there's nitrogen, because he breathes in nitrogen, doesn't, the body doesn't do anything with that, and he breathes that out. Breathes in some oxygen, converts some of that oxygen to carbon dioxide, so he'll exhale some carbon dioxide. And then he'll exhale some oxygen that he doesn't convert, and that's within those bubbles. And guess what? The combination of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide is not, it, it does not, is not flammable. It doesn't explode. Doesn't go, but, so what did I do to make it flammable? We took the gas line, which is just methane gas piped through the piped through the system, and now I made bubbles made out of methane gas. Methane gas is very flammable. It's the same. It's the same gas that heats your house. So now we're making bubbles of methane gas under safe conditions, and you know you get a little little fire that way. Again, safe conditions. Now I show this not to instruct you on. Oh, what can I do? Don't be stupid. There's too many. There's too. There's too many stupid people out there. They do stupid things and get hit, get hurt. They really do. Right? They do stupid things and get hurt. Right? But it looks like a trick. But it's just science. You're just putting a, a flammable gas. So really, all I'm doing is burning gas. It's just not in the right combination. For example. How's the ceiling not lighting up? The ceiling, because the ceiling is made out of tiles that are flame resistant and the fire's not hot enough. It's like this. Have you ever taken your hand and put your hand through a fire real quickly? Yes. 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 Does that hurt? No. no. You know, why? It's not there. There's not enough time. You leave it there for a while. Yeah, that's going to hurt. All right. Well, Mr. Farley, thank you. Thank you.